A recent labor agreement signed between the MCK and the Quebec government is a step in the right direction, according to the MCK. We spoke to Labor Portfolio Chief Rhonda Kirby and Intergovernmental Affairs Chief Lloyd Phillips for their thoughts. Well, you know, we have uh, finally came to agreements on uh, many labor conditions that apply uh, within the community. As you know, it's been an ongoing um, debate in the community about uh, various uh, um, CCSST and CCQ and RBQ, all these all these acronyms that are out there that are, are Quebec um, uh, laws and, and regulations on determining who and how people uh, work, uh, mainly in the, in the construction industry. Uh, after many months of, of discussions and, and deliberations with uh, the Quebec government, we came to an agreement whereby uh, Ganawaga's uh, authority and jurisdiction is officially being recognized, uh, whereby uh, RBQ and CCQ uh, and CSAT will, will, will not apply uh, within territory. We're going to work out arrangements that uh, it's clear that Ganawage will determine how our workers are certified, uh, how our businesses are certified, and and also work out an arrangement whereby MSI and CST could could uh, could work uh, collaboratively to ensure that people are properly insured for the long term and that the liabilities of from uh, the long term uh, sustainability financially will be maintained for Ganawage. Well, what we're looking at is having community members being certified and actually being able to go outside the community to work. Uh, right now, it's pretty limited, except for, you know, we do have two major projects going on right now. We have the bridge project and the hospital project will be starting soon. But other than that, you know, we're, we're looking at uh, building capacity here for community members. Yeah, well, the hospital, uh, as we know, has been uh, uh, an issue in our community for some time. We've been talking about uh, hospital expansion and renovation for, for several years. It's because the, the, the financing aspect of it, which the, the, the vast majority is, is paid by Quebec, so they were wanting all their rules and regulations to apply in terms of the, the, the labor and certification and so on. And we said, basically, no, it, it, this is going to walk the authority, it's our jurisdiction, and we'll decide on how, the, how that progresses. So it, it took a while, but they, but they finally uh, agreed uh, that we're going to have, uh, um, no, we're going to certify our people, uh, certify our men, certify our businesses who will work uh, uh, on the construction of the hospital. So that, that's, that's a first. Actually, um, Quebec uh, has to change uh, several laws uh, that uh, to in order for them to vacate the territory, vacate vacate the the, the field, so that uh, Ganawaga's uh, jurisdiction will fully be um, uh, recognized, and the same applies for for the Mercier Bridge. You know, the many laws that that are, are imposed upon our community over the years without anybody's consent are now going to be repealed modified to ensure that Ganawagi's authority is recognized. So we're looking at uh, qualifying a number of trades, especially for the hospital project. It'll be some time before uh, work actually does start at this point, but uh, we are looking, we are thinking about the future for this community.